Well, hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Jeff Donovan. I have a question for you. My question, do you have a question for us about your hair? If you do, you might consider submitting it to our Question of the Week program. Each week, I answer challenging questions related to hair loss diagnosis or hair loss treatment. What's causing my hair loss? How best to treat it? Why are the treatments that I'm using now not working? And so if you have challenging questions, please feel free to send them our way. As you might know, we have a training program, the Evidence-Based Fellowship Training Program, a wonderful program which was launched this year, which trains 120 hair loss specialists from around the world. And one small component of the program is the Question of the Week program. And it's an incredible program whereby we give fellows, our trainees, these same challenging questions that you've sent to me for them to tackle. And many of these questions have been answered by me many years ago. You have already had the answer, but we save these questions and we use them in our training programs. And so if you have questions related to diagnosis or treatment, send them our way. I'll review them quite quickly. And if I feel I can answer them, we will send you back my reply within a matter of a week or two. The actual Fellows may answer these questions in one year, two years, five years. And so it may be several years before they take on these questions, but you'll already have my answer well in advance. And so when you send in a question, I review it and I reply right away if I feel it's a good question for our trainees. It's been a wonderful program and we have a large number of questions for our 2024-2025 fellowship training program. And we're looking ahead to our 2026-2027 program. And uh, we're looking for particularly good questions that stimulate the problem-solving skills of trainees. Challenging diagnoses, good pictures that really highlight certain aspects of a, of a hair loss condition, biopsy results that are challenging or ambiguous, blood test results that are a bit off or abnormal or challenging to interpret. We accept these challenges. And one thing we do in the evidence-based fellowship training program is we welcome these sorts of challenging scenarios and we don't shy away from them because what we're trying to do is develop the problem-solving skills of our fellows to a very high level so that they may become your future hair loss specialists and welcome these kind of challenging scenarios in the future when they see patients with hair loss at advanced levels. And so right now we have about 120 hair loss specialists that are very knowledgeable about hair loss, but they are looking for something very special, and that is to advance their skills to a whole new level. And there's several aspects of the program that allow us to do that, including lectures and quizzes. And the, the evidence-based question of the week program is a wonderful addition as well, which allows them to take on scenarios that they might not otherwise encounter. And so it's a very nice addition to our fellowship training program. And um, I really appreciate all the questions that have been sent in over the years. I know that our trainees really appreciate them as well. The questions that we use are very unique and they're just incredible questions. So thank you. I really enjoy answering these questions to date. I've probably answered about 6,000 questions from individuals. These are individuals that are not looking to become my patients or individuals that are just looking to have some challenging questions answered so that they can go back to their own hair loss practitioners and engage in a whole new dialogue. And so I really enjoy this program. We've had good feedback over the years that we've had tremendous help that we've been able to offer people. And I'm I'm grateful that we've been able to, to have this program running. And so the evidence-based question of the week program has been running for several years. And we're looking now to expand it as we expand our training programs. I'm really looking to make sure that we have hair loss specialists around the world that have advanced skills in the diagnosis and treatment of hair loss. And that's important to me. And I know it's important to you. And so if you do have challenging questions, send them our way. We appreciate good photos. And if you have blood test results and biopsy results, send them our way. Remove your name. Remove anything you don't want us to show. Um, so that's really important to us. And if this is something that you feel comfortable doing, please do. If you feel that this isn't something that you are able to participate in, that's okay too. But we're really looking to have a whole set of questions that we can 
use in our training program over the next many years. And I'm hoping to build a database of thousands of these questions so that we can educate hair loss specialists at an advanced level. And so they can take on the challenges of lichen planopilaris and frontal fibrosing alopecia and folliculitis decalvans and central centrifugal cicatricial alopecia. And what do we do when androgenetic hair loss doesn't respond to minoxidil uh, antiandrogens, PRP, laser? What do we do when alopecia areata doesn't respond to steroid injections, minoxidil, and other treatments? What do we do? And so to be able to take on these challenging scenarios and be able to have help and be able to offer help to patients is really a wonderful thing. And that's what we're looking to do in this program. Our 2024-2025 evidence-based fellowship training program is an intense program, 20 months in duration. And we have 120 individuals from 33 countries that have said, I want to be a hair loss specialist with advanced skills. And this is a wonderful commitment that these individuals have made. And I thank you so much for your participation and sending in your challenging questions that you too can participate in the training of these individuals. These are your future hair loss specialists. Thank you so much for your attention today and I look forward to your questions. We'll put a link here in the um, video as to how you can send in questions. And it's a very straightforward procedure where you go online and you submit your question and upload photos and upload blood test results if you have them. And um, that's it. And of course, if you have any questions, you can always email my team and they're always glad to help. We apologize in advance. We can't answer all questions. As soon as I see a question, I know immediately if it's a good educationally valuable question. And then we put it in our pool and I answer it pretty quickly, usually within a couple of weeks. But if it's a question that I feel this really has not quite as good value for our learners. Generally, we put it in another pool and answer it if we have the ability to answer it, but we're particularly looking for good questions. So thanks so much for your time today. I appreciate it immensely, and I look forward to your questions.